Hello everyone, my name is Beatrix. In our last video, um, Louise has showed us how to set up an altar at home. So uh, today we will be showing you some examples of um, altars and also some ideas for you so that you can set up your own altar at home as well. Let's go! Let's see what do we have here. Here is of course a very simple altar of uh, mainly you see Manjushri. As you can see, the person likes Manjushri very much. So here you have a Manjushri statue, a Doji Shukran Tata and also a small uh, Manjushri Tata as well. This is uh, Manjushri Lion's Roar, which is also Jampel Sangitra. And as you can see, this, tata, uh, this altar is quite simple. You have um, candles and then you have Sakim, which is also tea offering and also you have an incense burner. Also, a very good point about this um, altar is that you will see a box here. This is quite, um, I would say, um, genius because um, you will protect your statues from a lot of dust, from cobwebs and all that. So, it is a very smart way of setting up your altar and it's also quite portable. If you need to move your altar for whatever reasons, it's very simple. This is a very rustic altar. So you have here a um, stone sculpture of Vajrayogini and then you have simple water offering bowls of course to make offerings to the Buddha. Then you have a small Manjushri statue here which is very unique. And then you have here a Byzantine picture frame of Dodi Shukdan. If you want to find more pictures of these, you can go to Rinpoche's blog on the free download section. That's where you can find it. Then, of course, you have plants, flowers, um, incense, burner and all that. So if you're into rustic, um, Nordic, kind of woody style, this is the altar design that you're looking for. As you can see here, this is a very simple altar. You have the Buddha statues and of course the decorations such as plants. So what do you have here? You have a flying Vajrayogini statue and then a small Vajrayogini statue here. And this is Chitipati, who are also the um, Lord and um, Lady of the Channel Ground. They are considered the emanation of um, Hiroka and also Vajrayogini and therefore they are also enlightened Dharma protectors. And then you have here Manchushri and you have here also um, incense holders. So for um, your altar, you can put anything that you find suitable. You can put um, plants, fake plants, real plants, real flowers. Uh, you can put candles and all that. So here is a more simple one where you have only um, the, the Buddha images themselves, the incense holder and also some plants as um, offerings or decoration. You have here a very rustic altar. And of course, you see a very huge Manjushri statue here and a small Vajrayogini statue. And then you have a picture frame of Rinpoche, our guru, and some tatas and of course a mantra stone. So this is a very rustic um, kind of um, design altar. Of, and of course, um, you have some fake plants as well and also fairy lights to decorate the altar to make it more beautiful. So this is one of the examples of how you can set up your altar at home or in your office. Here is an um, example of how you can set up your altar. So this is relatively simple. You have a simple Buddha Shakyamuni statue. Then of course you have a um, statue of Tara, statue of Vajrayogini, then a statue of Lama Tsongkhapa who is also the founder of our Galut lineage. Then you have a very rare statue of Machi Lakdrun. Then behind all this you see some tankas. This is a tanka of um, Manjushri, of course, in Indian style. This is a tanka of Maitreya Buddha. Then above there is a tanka of um, 35 confessional Buddhas. Their practice is of course very good for um, purification. Then you have here a very rare drawing of um, Kepje Song Rinpoche in tantric form. So Kepje Song Rinpoche is actually our guru, Tse Rinpoche's um, teacher. So as you can see here, there is a mixture of Buddha statues, um, tankas, picture frames and all that. So you can always do a mix and match for your own altar. Okay, we have here a very Indian style altar. If you know whose altar is this, then you know. If you don't know, then you don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is a statue of Sengdoma. She is an enlightened Dhamma protector, who is also a yogini from the Hiruka's mandala. 
So her practice is very well known for um, if you have spirit disturbances, black magic, incidents like that, then her practice is very powerful to um, overcome all these problems. Okay, this is a um, statue of Zambala. So this statue actually belonged to Rinpoche, our Rinpoche, Tem Rinpoche. So when Rinpoche was doing a retreat on Zambala, in um, Thailand, this was a statue that Rinpoche had with him. So now it's with um, someone. <laughs> Rinpoche gave it to someone. So here you have is another small statue of Singdongma. As you see, it's very um, ornate. It's very Indian style. And then you have a statue of Mother Tara. You have um, tatas of Tara, Tsongkhapa. Then you have a very small tata of Dodi Shukden. And of course, on an altar, there's also, there, there are always um, eight sensory offerings and also um, water offerings. But of course, if you can't do it, you can just offer three bowls of um, water or even one bowl of water. It's fine. And then here you have is a very old um, drawing of Vajra Yugini. It's quite antique. We have here a stone sculpture of Ganesha, who is also a um, Hindu god. So. On this altar, you see there are different kinds of um, Tibetan Buddhist deities but you can also worship your own god at home. For example, if you are Hindu, you can put um, Shiva, you can put Ganesha, you can put whoever you want. And if you are a Chinese, you can put Kuan Yin, Chan Rei or you can put Kuan Ti, Kuan Gong, all that. It's completely fine because in Tibetan Buddhism, we do not have a discrimination as to, for example, if which um, god is better than the, the other god. There's no dis discrimination or um, segregation whatsoever. So as long as you are praying to the deity sincerely, you can put them on your altar together and worship them sincerely from your heart. Okay, here we have a very um, chapel-like altar. So if you are into, if you are into making offerings, uh, making elaborate offerings, uh, setting up beautiful altars and all that, you can um, take this as an example or a reference for your own altar. So we have here a statue of Tupu Drapa Gyaltsen, who is one of the previous incarnations of Dodi Shukden. So this was, um, so Tupu Drapa Gyaltsen was the direct incarnation before he became the Dharma protector Dodi Shukden. And then you have here a, a small statue of um, Tara, Mother Tara, a very beautiful one. And you have the mandala. Then you also have the candles, candle offerings. These are electrical candles. So if you do not wish to offer real candles, you can also offer electrical candles at home, which is more, um, which is safer. If you're not at home or when you're in your office, you don't have to worry about leaving the fire on. And also you have here, you might notice um, there are some Thomas as well. This is because um, the person who owns this altar currently is doing a retreat. So you have, so you see some Thomas around and these are the eight sensory offerings. Okay, here is a statue of Wang Zhe, who is one of the emanations of um, Doji Shukden. This is the controlling form of Doji Shukden, Wang Zhe. He is riding on a dragon, as you can see. And then, um, same, you see candles, um, tea offering, and then you see here, you have eight sensory offerings as well, as well as um, water offerings. Then we have here a statue of Amitayus. Then Nagaraja, who is one of the Buddhas, um, one of the 35 confessional Buddhas. And then of course you have here a statue of Chen Rezik, Thousand Arm Chen Rezik. So this is a very elaborated altar. And of course you don't have to set up your altar like this. This is just an example. So you set up your altar according to your own um, capability, to, according to your own budget, according to your own likes or dislikes. And um, if you are into traditional altar like this, this is one of the ways of how you can set up your altar and how you can also do your practice in, at home. Since now we are in a lockdown and we can't go anywhere, so might as well set up an altar and do some practice at home.